Okay, so um, hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the binomial theorem. And um, suppose we have two variables, x and y. Okay, and n be a non-negative integer. So we have x plus y, and we are going to expand it to uh, n, x plus y quantity raised to n. So it is equivalent to n to zero, or maybe also written as combination of 10 taken zero, then x raised to zero, and then y raised to n, plus n choose one, and then x raised to one, y raised to n minus one, plus n taken two, x squared raised times y raised to n minus two, until n taken n minus one, then x raised to n minus one, y, raised to 1 plus n taken n, x raised to n, y um, raised to 0. Okay, so you can think of it like um, we have x plus y, and depending on the n, that will be the number of boxes that we have. So assuming that n is equal to 3, okay, so that will be equivalent to x plus y raised to 3. So this will be equivalent to x plus y times x plus y times um, x plus y, right? So we have three boxes. We're in each of the box. So we have each of the box that we have has um, x and y, wherein we could either pick x or y, right? So what would be the possibility? Suppose that we are going to pick to oh, select three, okay? So from uh, select one item from each box. So it could be either, we could pick either X or Y and from the first box, second or third, correct? So what would be the possibilities? So the first possibility would be that um, all of those that we pick are um, Ys, okay? And there will be no X. So assuming that um, we have, we pick zero, excess meaning what we mean by this is we are going to uh, pick y from the first box y from another box and y from the third na box All right so um, in this first na case zero excess okay and what about for the second term another possibility is that we are um we are selecting X from the first box. And for the second box is that we pick or select two Ys. Okay, so in this case, we have one X and two Ys, right? So in the first third year, so three Ys. Then what about for the third term? So the third term, we pick two na Xs. So here, uh, we pick two, oops, we pick here two in excess, here one X, and then what's left would be one in Y. Okay, so here we have two X's and then one Y. So what about for this term? So we pick here one Y and the rest would be two excess correct and then for the last term we are picking all x's and no y's okay so what would be the pattern or what is the pattern that you are seeing here so we um so pag meron tayong isang ano since may, meron tayong tatlong box okay since at dahil may tatlong box magpipick tayo once, right? So meaning, pag meron na tayong na-pick na isang x, then yung matitira na lang, yun yung ipipick natin na uh, y's. Alright? So, um, you can see that the exponents here of x and the y are all summing up into n. Okay? In this, we have 0 plus n. So that would give us n. What about this? This is one plus n minus one. This also gives us 
n. And this is um, 2 plus n minus 2. So this will also give us n. So what about for the last parts? So this also n minus 1 plus 1. This is also n. And then what about the last part wherein we pick only all uh, x's and 0 y's. So that will be n plus 0, which is also giving us n. Right, so that is binomial theorem. So note that, oops, note that these are the binomial na coefficients. Okay. Uh, those that are in orange boxes, these are the binomial na coefficients. And these are in the form of 10 taken k. All right? So we're in n refers here to the number of boxes that we have. And k are the number of items that we are going to select. Okay? So and you can see here that if taken n, taken 0, meaning we are going to pick 0x and n y's here. 1x and n minus 1 y's. And then 2x and n minus 2 no y's. And then here, um, n minus 1 x's. So that means that isa na lang yung ipipick natin na y. And in here, um, all x's and 0 y's. Okay, so... This may be expressed in a shorter or more general form. This is the form in the much na shorter version through the summation. Okay, so x plus y quantity raised to n is equal to the summation of from k equals 0 to n. So you can see here, this are the k from 0 until n, okay, uh, where we have the coefficient n taken n minus k or um, n taken k. This is also equivalent to n taken k times x raised to k times y raised to n minus k. Okay, so pag nakapik, assuming na meron tayong x plus y quantity cube, right? So, pag nakapick na tayo ng isang x, so, dalawang y na lang yung hindi natin na select. Okay? So, that is, if your k is equal to 1, then the y would be n minus k. So, you get the point. Okay. So, um, note, this is also equivalent to the summation of k from k to k equals 0 to n, and then n taken k, and x raised to k, y raised to n minus k. So, balik ulit tayo sa identity na napag-aralan natin before. Diba, sinabi natin na ang combination ng n taken k is equal to combination of n taken n minus k. So if we have, let's say, combination of 3 taken 1, so that would be combination of 3 taken 2. Okay? So these are, these, they mean basically the same thing. So we have this um, final or more generalized the form of the binomial theorem. Okay? So let's have some examples in the next video.